All right, and we are back with more Tekken 7 action. We got Little Majin on the stage right now uh, versus Snake. Who's Snake? Uh, I think, I believe, I, I'm going to get the, the flag completely wrong, but I think it's Taiwan. Get ready for the next I'm a dumb American, I'm very sorry, <laughs> but my guess is Taiwan. Have you seen him yet? He's got a UIU hat on. Is he UIU? Yeah, he played earlier in the day. He was playing, I want to say, Claudio? Well, I guess they're selling merch now, so it could be anyone's hat. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice hat. I can't do white. I'll make that thing dirty, for sure. Same. Can you imagine the inside of it? Gross. Now I do. <laughs> yeah. But we're going in. Little Majin, King of America, coming off a... Uh, Top eight finish at CEO, but ooh, electric. All right, all right, all right. Paying the light bill at the start. Yo, oh, get a broken here. toy. Oh, oh my God. that was not a good yeah, round. Hold for on a second. Majin is playing king, right? Yes. <laughs> I mean, that's what I expect from him, like a billion percent. But what the hell just happened? This Hihachi is doing pretty good work controlling yeah. King right now. But right. Oh, sidestep two, big slap. Yeah, damn. All right. Not Max Punch, but man, he gets hit by the Wahai 4 4. He's like, you know what? I got a full count down for 2 for you. Breaks the ground, th uh, the ground throw, though. Ooh, let's go. Oh, good I job. Love, I love that decision. If you went for the wall combo, it might have been a side yep. wall. So he just goes for the giant swing air throw. And if you remember, CEO, the side wall is really what wrecked him. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, a lot of challenging going right, on yo, here. He is really good. Snake knows what he's doing here. Ooh, uh -huh. Demon uppercut. This is going to get to the wall. Let's see here. Okay, goes for the Oki Ender. Full Still crash left. down for four double. Whoa. This is not looking good for Majin right now. Oh god, that could have been the round. Uh -oh. oh, muscle buster. Uh -huh. Ooh. All right, goes for the free. Well, not free. Oh, look out! He's free hit. done. Oh, oh, that looks so bad for Majin at the start. But he's little Majin, man. You know, I was just talking to Gio about little Majin earlier today, and he was saying that, you know, he thinks that Majin right now is playing the best he's ever played. Yeah. Like this is the top tier Majin. Counter hit confirmed. He's so good at counter hit confirming that string. Boom. Breaks the wall. Weird. Oh, oh. still gets a free hit. God this guy's too damn. good. Oh. Nuts. For the perfect. Jesus. All right, he's good. Little Majin. All right, so that first round looked really good for Snake. And then Majin just woke up, I guess. It was I like, mean, oh, we starting? The thing is, I think the Snake is actually super good, right? There's no question about that at this point. What happened there, though, he got a little ahead of himself. I think he won that first round, and he got super confident. But now he's switching things up to Geese. This is a terrible idea, because Heiachi was working just fine. Uh, switching to Geese, I think Majin has a ton of experience against it because of Trunk. Yeah. So I think this is not the right move. But we'll see. Yeah. Geese Howard, as we both mentioned earlier, we think top 10 character. Yeah. Heiachi, you put him up in top 10? No, I think he's just below. He's definitely in the top half of the characters. His, uh -huh. He still has that problem of, like, all of his lows are super risky to go for. Yeah. Most definitely. All right. Here we go. Game number two. All right. I'm Mishima Dojo. Snake from Taiwan. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I mean, Game the big up. thing with King is uh, you can't parry throws. Can't <laughs> parry throws. I mean, Majin isn't really uh, yeah, a throw I, spam. You're King, exactly right? right. If there's anything that sets Majin apart from a lot of other King players, he doesn't really opt into that throw mix-up as much as other people. But Snake, getting the first hit going here. Yeah, Full combo. Uh-huh. All right, goes to the Rapunken for Oki. Recovers Beautiful. a little faster. Oh, wow. What? Turned around the wall, hooked him up right there. Dude, he, he tried to keep on going so he could get, like, a full count up on one, but he got hit just quick barely. Got to watch out now, though. Majin's back to the wall. You know that giant is always a threat. Whoop. All right, down 4-2. Homing attack. I think Geese has some of the best homing moves in the game as well because they both hook up on counter hit. That's pretty ridiculous. That's actually really ridiculous. How fast is down 4 2? Do you know? Down 4 2 is, I think, around 17, 18. I think right. standing 4 is 12. 12? I believe so. Oh, there we go oh, with the parry. Predictable. All right, got the wall. Like I said, I think it's going to be a great idea for Snake to pick Geese. Hey, nice That's exactly what check. you said before. I thought that's what I said. I said Geese at top 10. Yeah. Perfect idea. Damn, oh, girl! Oh, jeez. Jump in attack. What? Bad combo, Punish. though. No! Bad punishes again. Chucks him. Oh, oh my, my god. god! He's dead, right? No, he messed up the combo! Oh, god, luck is with you, Snake! Damn, girl. That sucks for Majin. All right, Majin, can you turn this around? You turned around the first game. That was completely Majin's error in going with that combo. 
Oh yeah, definitely. Miscalculation, sometimes it's the wall just have to be a little bit off. And then he's homing attack. He's like, don't stand. Oh god. Oh, back one too, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh, oh Jesus. Muscle, Muscle Buster, Buster again. Yeah, the throws have been working uh, for sure. All right, mix up here. Oh. Cool. That's cool. so smart. That hits you if you hold back. Yeah. That's crazy. Why would that work? The hijack. The new Oki system. I don't understand it. Explain it. Why does that hit? Because your your hitbox is just kind of like, in, even but, though you're not like, look like you're off the floor, the game considers you like almost fully standing. Why can't I do like back to a block? Wall splat. Let's go, Snake. We wall splat. Oh man, if you got another one, he went for it too. Man, he, he really knows what he's doing now. I like it. No oh, counter hit. Not the best combo. Oh, oh that was shit. definitely Raging Storm. Oh boy, he messed up. Oh, he Counter gets him anyway. Hit. Down one. Snake in a little bit hyped there. Dude. A little nod of the head. Yeah, Snake is looking confident, and I don't blame him. And just like you said, this geese play, completely the right choice. Yeah. I mean, and like I was saying before, you know, Majin has a lot of experience with Trungu. But that doesn't mean he's going to be ready for someone else's geese. Because yeah. people can play the same character different ways. That's what's the beauty of Tekken. And no matter how much experience you have, a good character is still a damn good character. Exactly. So here we go, final game, Majin possibly being sent to the loser bracket. This is a winner side match, I should tell you guys. Mm -hmm. Earlier I said we have our loser side, but no, it's actually a mixture, both winners and losers in this group. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be final game, potential. Little Majin being sent to the loser bracket, a little earlier than expected, from someone relatively unknown to us here in Snake from Taiwan. Yeah, we see a lot of Korea, we see a lot of Japan. Not a lot of the other Asian countries. I mean, the Tekken World Tour events in Asia, we've been seeing a lot of India, Pakistan, but right. it's the first Taiwan, really. Love me. Right. But good start for Little Majin here. Got the wall counter hit, down jab, so good. Yeah, not too much damage out. He's got the raging now, though. Can he make something happen? Doesn't duck the high there on the down four, two, one. Yeah. I mean, obviously, like, for Akuma and Geese, Rage is not as big of a factor as for characters because they only have supers. They don't have Rage drives. But they still have more damage. Yes. So if you can hit, like, a back three two or something. Doesn't matter in this situation. Shining Wizard hits the mark. Fight. Hey. Ooh, so much. Good punish mm -hmm. there. Minus 14. This guy's posturing. Ooh. All right, tries to go for that again. Looking to push him around, not finding anything. A lot just... more jumping attacks from Snake than I can see from other Geese players. Yeah, I mean, that jumping he got on Martin early was crazy. Ooh. Beautiful oh. duck. He read that it was going to be the high version this time. You have to read, right? There's no visual reaction. Not I talked to Fab about that. He's like, dude, one of them's a blue splash, one of them's a white splash. I'm like, what? You might be able to fuzzy it. Fab might be a god. Fab is also wrong. Because yep. we tested together afterwards and there was no difference. Yeah. But Majin looking really good here after that second game. Snake still he's got two meters to spend here. Oh, he almost went to the back three, yeah, but he, he got stuffed out. He's fishing now. He's fishing hard. Majin with the punish. You can oh, back cancel. Wow. Get out of here. Nice no, try, buddy. Not going to mess up the combo this time. And Majin makes the adjustment against the geese. Wins 2-1. Moves on in winner size. Yeah, tell you what. I don't want to play Snake and lose the bracket. He looks pretty solid. Yeah, he does. I think the Hayati is actually the bigger threat than the geese. The geese is strong, but... I think he's underselling his own Heiachi there. Yeah. Maybe the maybe switching off the Heiachi wasn't the biggest, this biggest decision to make, but coming to the stage right now. Wait.